What's up everybody, welcome back to this tutorial video. I'm going to show you in this video how this number 3 is created. The 3D effect is done in Illustrator and the shadows are done in Photoshop. So firstly we are going to create this number 3 in Illustrator and I'm going to show you how. Open Illustrator for that, I've created an artboard which is 1080 by 1080 pixels. And first we are going to create the pattern, the black and white striped pattern. Create a small rectangle for that and give that black fill color. Duplicate it with holding shift and alt to the bottom side and enlarge it a little bit. Give this a white fill color. Now we are going to add even more copies of it. Drag it holding shift and alt again to the bottom side and press on command D a few times. Okay, this looks quite good. So we are going to add this pattern into the symbols panel. If you don't have it open, click on window and on symbols and drag it simply into the panel. I give it a name. And press on OK. Drag the pattern out of outside of the artboard now. And now we are going to create the number three. Select the rectangle tool for that. And drag a rectangle. Give it a light gray fill color. And add another rectangle. To the top side. Duplicate this rectangle. And now we are going to duplicate this shape. Select it. Hold Option and Shift again and rotate it 45 degrees. We are going to add this to this corner. So now we have the number 3. Select these anchor points and we are going to increase the shape a little bit. Press on Shift and on the top arrows a few times. Same for these two anchor points but we are going to drag it to the right side okay press on shift m we are going to make one solid object out of this select it and rotate it 45 degrees okay so basically now we have created the number three we are going to give it a depth now go to effect 3d and materials 3D Classic, Extrude and Bevel. Okay, so we want a top view with a nice depth. This looks good. Go to Extrude Depth and make it something like uh, 140 and give it a perspective of 30 degrees. Okay, press on OK. Scale the number 3 up a little bit. Go to Window, Appearance. And in the Appearance panel you can see all the effects applied to the object. Double click on 3D and Bevel. And we go into the options again. Click on Map Art. And now we are going to add the pattern to the 3D object. Go to the first, first surface. Okay, click on Symbol over here. Click on white and black stripes. This is the pattern we have just have created. Click on scale to fit. So it fits nicely into the surface. Do this for all the surfaces. I'm only doing the surfaces which are visible at the moment. 
and it's just a repetition of the same steps all over again. Okay, this looks quite good. I've covered all the surfaces which are visible. Press an OK. And press an OK again. Click on the number 3, go to Object, Expand Appearance. Select the top part of the number 3 with the white direct, direct selection tool. Give it a black fill color. Okay, as we see now, it is lying on a, a striped background as well. So we are going to create this background with white, black and white lines. Create the same pattern as we did at the start of this tutorial. Select these two lines and drag it with holding Option and Shift to the bottom side of these two, of the top two lines. Press on Command D until the artboard is covered. Select all the lines and make them fit nicely into the artboard. Okay, I'm going to end with a black stripe as well because I think that's, that looks nice. Select it and fit it into the artboard. Okay, select all the lines, press on command G to group it, press on command shift and close bracket, open bracket to send it to the background. Okay, so this is what we have to do in Illustrator. Um, <clears throat> open Photoshop, I have also created a 1080 by 1080 uh, artboard, pixeled artboard in Photoshop as well. Go to Illustrator, select the background, press on command V. Select the number 3 in Illustrator, press on command C and press on command V in Photoshop to paste it. Decrease the size a little bit. Press on the check mark. Okay, so basically how the shadows are created, it is done with the pen tool and the brush tool. So add a new layer, which will be the shadows. Click on the pen tool and simply make sure we are going to manually create the surfaces and cover them with the pen tool. Zoom out a little bit. So click on the right uh, mouse and click on make selection. Feather radius to zero pixels and press on OK. So now we have a surface of this side of the number three and we make and we can give it with the brush tool and a black fill color. <clears throat> a nice shadow. So, the same you are going to do for this and this surface. Just create the, with the pen tool a path make a selection out of it, press on OK, press on B for brush and again give it a nice shadow. Okay, the last surface is a little bit harder, it has a edge in it. Okay, let's go up, close the path make a selection out of it. Press on B and give it a shadow as well. Okay, this creates already a nice depth within the object. So now we are going to create the um, drop shadow. It's also simply done with the pen tool. Same technique, click on the corner over here. And choose choose a direction which you want to the shadow to go to. And this one is a little bit optical. 
Okay, this looks good. So, make a selection as well. And for this shadow we want a new layer. And we want it to be underneath the number 3 layer. So the shadow applies below the number 3. Press on the B again for the shadow, for the brush. Increase the size of the brush by clicking on the close bracket. We are going to create a nice shadow. Okay, so this is how this number three is created. Hope you guys learned something. If you did, drop a like, follow the channel, and I see you guys in the next video. Peace!